You know those elaborate machines that make simple tasks like striking a match more complicated in an unnecessary but fun way? They're called Rube Goldberg machines, and Sniper Elite 4 is the shooter version of that. Rebellion's shooter is complex, and being patient can feel silly when running in and shooting often works just fine. However, Sniper Elite 4 isn't just about killing Nazis, it's about dismantling them. Letting you play Puppet Master is by far its best trick. Before you pull the trigger, you might need to consider holding your breath, the pull of gravity, and your rifle's muzzle velocity. And that's just for the standard difficulty. For authentic mode, you'll also deal with wind direction, ammo scarcity, and more. It sounds cumbersome, but it's fun to experiment and improve within those constraints. You have the tools to go full Dark Knight on these guys. Once you're comfortable, you can set up satisfying kills like dominoes. For example, after killing a Nazi officer, I set up a trap, moved his body into the open, and lured a guard to his death. Outsmarting the enemy AI in new and interesting ways didn't get old over 14 hours. There's a side effect to such a wealth of options though. The difference between difficulty modes is sharp, so your efforts to play smart can feel wasted unless you crank it up. On normal mode, if you blow your cover, you can just gun everyone down. And unless you're bent on playing like a masochist, many of Sniper Elite 4's options become a take it or leave it affair. The humdrum World War II story is spread across eight huge campaign levels, and it packs in tons of variety, taking you to a remote island, a radar facility, and other locales. Though they were all over an hour long, they didn't drag on. Each one begins with a few primary objectives, Nazis to kill generally, and some secondary tasks like destroying a downed plane. Then it lets you put on your grown-up fatigues and go, leaving the minutia of how to get the job done up to you. It prompts you to try new things with mechanics that are unique to each level. One map has a massive railgun that fires at regular intervals, and you can sync your shots with it to stay hidden. I spent most of my early time in each mission hiding in foliage, tagging everything of note with binoculars. It might sound menial, but it's actually fun when you know your prep work matters. And when you spend so much time just looking around, it's great to see new sights. It's a shame not as much variety was extended to your weapons themselves. With most firearms, the differences between them are too small to notice. Sniper Elite 4 has a handful of great ways to play alongside a friend, and it's just as flexible as when you're playing solo. Guns blazing works, but splitting up is much more interesting. If you're apart, you can take turns making noise and ping-ponging enemies back and forth. The lack of rules feels like a challenge to experiment. My favorite use of co-op in Sniper Elite 4 is Survival, which is a variant of Gears of War's Horde mode. Played with up to four, enemies come at you in 12 waves, each more difficult. The action is faster and more focused, but it doesn't sacrifice the experimental nature. And if the enemy takes control of your supply station, the pace of the match dynamically changes from holdout defense to guerrilla warfare offense. Competitive multiplayer is more hit or miss, depending on the modes. Sniper Elite 4 works best when you're dealing with enemies of habit, which human players aren't. But the slower, longer range warfare mode is great because it's thrilling to know that even the slightest movement could tip off your location. Control mode is also a highlight because having a highly contested objective area keeps the action funneled and fast. Lots of games claim to let you play how you want to play, but Sniper Elite 4's missions and mechanics actually deliver. Though it doesn't always reward your efforts, the way it encourages you to stay mindful, experiment, and improve is a refreshing vote of confidence. For more on Sniper Elite 4, keep it locked and loaded to IGN.